Okay, so Sadie, here we are once again at the old ranch, as they say. And let's warm up with our A major scale. How about with Tiri Tiri Titi? So let's start with our Statue of Liberty. Let's start with our Statue of Liberty. Good. Good. Can you take your violin? Good. And rest it on your collarbone. That away. And why does this stay? It just likes to be on the side. Toilet. Well, let's say your daddy will fix that for you. He's got all those answers. Okay, so here we go. Teary, teary, teet, teet. checking every day to make sure and see how you're growing. Let's play our Tiri Tiri Titi very almost, I would say, in a week or two or three weeks. We'll keep checking. Here's, here, let's do our twinkle song. Tiri, and your daddy can play with you. Ready, play. Which one would you like to do? The two that came back. Oh, okay, we didn't fix that either. Which other variation would you like to do with your scale first? Grasshopper or Mississippi? I also know a twinkle, twinkle. Yeah, oh, okay, let's do either Grasshopper or um, Mississippi is a river. Which one would you like to do? Okay, so let's do the scale first and then we'll do the song. gentle handshake. Good. That's very good. Now, can you keep that same feeling when you play Mississippi is a River with the song? Let's try. Here we go. Ready with your dad. Ready, play. Oh, I think you're growing. Let's do it once more, but don't go off the top. And
Motel Aunt Rhody, and then we're going to start our new song today. We're going to start Oh Come Little Children. But let's do Go Tell Aunt Rhody first. Good. Good. And here's our introduction. Sadie and that is we're going to give you the grown-up bow position so watch watch your your thumb has usually been here right now we're going to put the thumb between the frog and the wrapping very gently very gently so let's we're going to just raise your let's raise your arm a little bit and we're going to rest it on the bow rest it on the bow and then we're going to let the thumb rest here and we're going to have it a little bit bent but not really really bent that's right so it may take a couple of weeks to get used to that but of course we want to be a grown-up violinist here we go here we go so these fingers are here and then this thumb so loose so this is the thumb is the finger you have to talk to the most and you know what question you have to ask it? Are you loose? Can you ask it? Are you loose? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is very good. Now, let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to put the bow in the middle. Oops. That was loose. That was loose. That's loose. right. Okay. Watch. We're going to do silent bow placements. We're going to put the bow in the middle. I'm going to take it and put it at the tip. I'm going to put it in the middle. I'm going to take it to the frog. So silent bow placement. So let's take a look, come a little closer. Good, so we're gonna keep that, that no hold bow hold. Good, good, good. So we put the bow in the middle and we'll keep our hand over our high back. And then we're gonna take it and put it at the tip. Good, can you raise it and take it to the middle? Middle and to the frog. <gasps> Rock. That is so good. And then we take it and put it in the middle. In the middle. And we play a game. And we do middle, tip, and then I'll say frog. Can you take it to the frog? Frog. Keeping the thumb slightly bent. That's right. Good. 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 And then to the middle. Middle. Lift it. And to the tip. 
So I want you to do lots of these every day. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to do whole bow circles. We're going to circle and we're going to go whole bow. And circle and we're going to go to the E string. E and circle. So let me help you. Okay, now, but we're going to do this with our thumb. That is right. When will we start the song? Oh, tell me when oh we as soon as we get our, our thumb in a very comfy position. So we're going to go, and we're going to go can you say circle? Sorry. And circle. And then we'll go up bow on the E. Up bow, circle, but gentle. And circle. Okay, so lots of whole circles done. Watch the next thing we do. We're going to start in the middle and we're going to take a walk with our bow. And we call these bow wandering. Yeah. 
to it. <clears throat> Don't you worry, we're getting that four ready to go. Well, okay, so here we go. So come a little closer. So we're going to do our grown-up bow position. Good. And we'll start in the middle, and I'm going to help you. Good. So you start on the E. 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 A whole bow. Half. Half. Whole. stop in the middle and we just do the same thing again and you have half the song e, 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 two, e, hobo, two, e, three, one, one, two. and I think we'll just stop there with this song okay but we'll review our other songs so I think the best thing is if you do half the time all the new things with your new bow position and then the old pieces she can do with her other bow and we'll just make a gradual transition okay so let's go through our other pieces let's do lightly row here we go and your dad can give you an introduction once more thinking just about the thumb on your left hand here because when I look at your thumb it looks white because it's squeezing so tightly that you forget to let the blood go to it so let's see if we can get that really loose so it can be very warm otherwise it's gonna be a cold thumb what do you think one oh. time when I was getting my hair cut mm -hmm. my the scissors kind of kept my skin a little bit. Ooh! And I oh. like jumped. Wow. And that was, that kind of hurt. Oh, well, we don't want to hurt the thumb. So you've got to want the thumb to just rest there. That's right. Doesn't need to squeeze at all. Good. So see if you can move. Can you, can you, can you move your thumb just like this? Can you move it back and forth here? Take a look. That's right. Look, see? No. Not that way. We want to move the thumb this way. So I'll show you. So you put your thumb there. Good. And that's right. And we that's right. We can do our sliding on our magic. Yeah. But, but the problem is I don't know. Oh, well, I think you have it. I think you know where it is. We'll give you one at the end. How's that? Okay. Here we go. So, remember. Oh, okay. Here we go. So let's do our lightly roll once more and see if we can get that thumb to be so loose here not to squeeze it together but good Let's just 
wait one second. Talk to your thumb. Say unsqueeze. Unsqueeze. Thank you. Ba, ba. because my favorite piece. And we already did that. But can we end with it because we started with it? And I also know Mary Ella Lamb. Okay, maybe we can do that after Go Tell Aunt Rhody. Okay, so Mary... My daddy didn't even teach me it. Wow, I bet you taught it to yourself. Good. Good. Ba, ba, ba.
Okay, do you have any questions? No, do you have enough to work on? Okay, so the important thing is just, oh, my bow got stuck here. Oh, uh, are the silent bow placements, the bow wanderings and the hobo circles, and just to just check the thumb is not squeezing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Squeezing thumbs are the most difficult. Okay, thank you, Sadie.